Right here, uh, even just running the inverter, you can see I'm taking 12 watts and uh, just under one amp. Now I'm gonna come over here to this and we're gonna go ahead and lower the temperature uh, to get this thing running. And I'm gonna drop it actually to 75, which really for households in Arizona gets to be pretty chill. So what we're gonna do experiment wise, we're gonna just kind of confirm what this battery monitor tells us. And that's telling us that uh, at this rate, this amperage, um, you know, I'm drawing almost 13 amps and 178 watts. So actually... All right guys, uh, Jeff here, just gonna do an experiment today of trying to help you uh, see how effective a little small simple, easy to do do-it-yourself solar generator can actually add comfort uh, to your everyday life without adding a whole lot of expense. And here we are in July in Arizona and I've been outside as you can see because I'm sweating. I was getting all of my solar generator stuff in from outside. And I've got inside here this little uh, room uh, space uh, cooler por portable air conditioner. And typically we have that uh, plugged into that outlet right behind here. And um, of course you have to vent these, it's just like a window unit it has to vent all the hot air out of there. But uh, this does a great job of helping supplement and keep this part of the house cool that doesn't necessarily get the greatest deal. But, you know, I had the idea, I've got these uh, solar generators that I've built. And here I have a, uh, a, a 230 amp hour lifetime uh, PO4 battery. And you can see it's 100% charged. I keep it charged uh, using a 200 watt uh, Renergy panel. And I'm charging that with a rover here. Uh, this charge controller does great, allows you to charge up to several panels, several uh, watts. Um, so it can get a fast charge, but it can also do a slow uh, charge too. So anyway, um, powering this with this uh, 2000 watts uh, Pearson uh, sine wave uh, inverter, I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. And what we're gonna do is you can see that that immediately puts a draw because right here, uh, even just running the inverter, you can see I'm taking 12 watts and uh, just under one amp. Now I'm gonna come over here to this and we're gonna go ahead and lower the temperature uh, to get this thing running. And I'm gonna drop it actually to 75, which really for households in Arizona gets to be pretty chill. So what we're gonna do experiment wise, we're gonna just kind of confirm what this battery monitor tells us. And that's telling us that uh, at this rate, this amperage, um, you know, I'm drawing almost 13 amps and 178 watts. So actually, one of the things you can learn from this is that these are actually pretty energy efficient, much more efficient than running your whole HVAC for your whole house. Uh, according to this, this is telling me that I have uh, 19 hours, and it's gonna keep adjusting until it gets dialed in, but based on the current usage, it's telling me that we have 18 hours of, of uh, power in, stored in this battery. So here's the thought process is, and I have other batteries, I'm gonna go ahead and go outside and charge um, that other battery to have that ready to replace this one and I'm just going to let the sun charge the batteries and let the batteries run this AC unit and I'm going to turn it down uh, you can see that's at 75 degrees here in uh, Arizona so it's got a couple of degrees to drop and right now I've got it on uh, a low uh, fan I'm gonna turn it up to medium and just see what happens to our power consumption and that is like you'd expect. So wattage went up to 200, now your time's going down. But really, uh, based on the power that we have stored in this battery, we should be able to run this air unit all day, uh, cooler than we normally keep it. And we do it, uh, uh, we're gonna do it, you know, based on our uh, time. So uh, right now, let's see, it is, what time is it, okay? So it is 10.30 in the morning, and we will come back and check on this in a couple hours just to see how it's doing. But there's the setup that we have for the day. We have the um, 
Renergy uh, 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter, uh, running that 230 amp hour lithium 12 volt battery, uh, running this um, portable air unit, and uh, been really, really happy with both of these. So this is uh, a really, really good setup. Uh, so anyway, on these settings, let's see if it's adjusted even more, which it should, yeah. Okay, so 15 hours still. That's gonna give us all day until the sun goes down of running that uh, power during these peak times, saving you a lot of money on electricity and uh, running your house, keeping it cooler than it, than it would be. So, in fact, it's already cycled out, down, saying we've satisfied that uh, deal. So I'm gonna even go one step colder and set that even cooler uh, just to really put this thing to the limits. So I'll be back, we'll come back uh, maybe in a couple hours just to see how it's doing, see what the room feels like, see how that battery's holding out. Okay, so um, just a couple of, just an update here. So I turned it down far enough for that compressor, the actual AC unit to kick in and you can see that that does draw, uh, now it's drawing quite a few amps and you can see that's cutting that time down. So uh, obviously the cooler you keep it, the shorter this lifespan is. Uh, and anyway, but we've got uh, 74 amps going out of there, 977 watts. Well, that sure cuts the battery time down to just over three hours. So uh, I'll come back at noon, see how it's doing. I'm sure it won't run like this all the time because as the air satisfies, it won't, uh, it won't run that high. So it'll, it'll definitely stretch it out. But if you were starting from zero and you needed to cool down a room, that's what you could expect is to have that AC running just nonstop like that. All right, guys, uh, so back here at our experiment, it's now, what time did it show there? 5.30, so we were going from 10.30. It finally uh, bit the dust just here, so I came and uh, checked it out. It finally bit the dust, so we got a uh, run time from 10.30 to 5.30 off of a single charge off of this 2,000-watt uh, energy system. So bottom line is, is that in order to be able to run AC in Arizona, you do need to have... Uh, some supplemental um, obviously hard wire works out but uh, if uh, you wanted to keep this running obviously we could run panels there's all kinds of things we could do to have this set up to run off the grid but uh, by and large even just charging a battery and uh, as you saw I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in so you can see that we um, we basically uh, ran this at a higher rate we turn down the air which of course if I was trying to just keep it comfortable in here I would have uh, you know extended that uh, circumstances but as you can see it stayed 75 degrees in here clear up until the time that we um, went ahead and uh, 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 had this die so again 1030 to 530 uh, we got several hours of use out of it and uh, uh, did exactly what we wanted to do so anyway all kinds of things you can do to stretch it out obviously if you ran this temperature more realistically at 7 uh, 77 and turned it down to a uh, low speed um, all kinds of ways to stretch that battery out but all in all it was a, a super positive task for us